Up in the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap now, but the rest of the is a rap and a Yo guys, what is going on Timpers here and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this really cool looking text in Photoshop. It's very, very easy to do. Um, you can use this with any font you want, even like some of the standard ones that it comes with. This font I'm using is Arial, it's just very easy to do. Uh, and the effects within Photoshop, so let's get straight into it. You want to go to File New and just open up a new document. I'll be using 1920 by 1080. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to quickly change the background so we can see what we're doing. Um, I'm going to do, yeah, I'll stick with purple again, like so. Um, and you want to just go to the text tool and type in whatever you want. I'm just going to put text. And you want to choose a colour that you want to do it with, so I'm going to choose a purple like so. Like I said, my, the font I'm using is Arial Black, but you can literally do this with any bold uh, sans serif font. So we're going to put that right in the middle. So the first thing we are going to do is go to Rasterize, go to Filter, in fact let's go to Duplicate first, Control J. You want to filter, distort, ripple, make sure it's set to the max. Um, and obviously that doesn't look very good so far, but you want to go to pixelate, mosaic, and then um, filter, stylize, find edges, and then press Ctrl I to invert it and set that to color dodge. You can duplicate it if you want, and then you just want to merge it all together. Uh, make sure that they are both clipped to the first text, so they all uh, clipped to the text with no effects on. And you want to merge all these together by pressing Ctrl E. Um, so once you've done that, we're going to double click on the layer, go to gradient overlay, and you can copy this down, it's just overlay black to white, 60%. And also in a glow, overlay, make sure it's white, opacity is 20%. And you get this cool looking effect right here. Then you want to rasterize it. Right click rasterize. Control J to duplicate it. Go to filter. Um, and then pixelate color half tone. And you can copy down these settings as well if you pause it. It's on 8, 108, 162, 90, 45. And then you get this. Once you've done that, you want to go to color dodge. And it looks like this. Looks pretty crazy right now, it looks very nice. Um, then you want to press Ctrl E to merge them together. And then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. And we're going to like bl blend it together in certain parts, it gives it a really nice effect. Like, it's really crazy and abstract. But what I'm going to do now is go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And that's what it looks like right now. You want to right click Create Clipping Mask. So it's only going on inside the text. Then you want to go to the eraser tool and just click in certain areas. Like so. And it looks really, really nice. So you've got like it, certain parts where you can see the effect and certain parts where it's like blended. And if you press Ctrl J, you can duplicate it and make the blur a bit more like heavy and like you can see it a lot more but it looks really nice that and you could do other things to this you can go further and press ctrl j um, I know I've done a tutorial on how to do this before but if you go to mosaic filter stylize find edges ctrl i and then go to color dodge it gives it another like pixelated effect over the top it looks really cool and what I always like to do with my texts, um, I like to give it a glow. Well, not all the time, but a lot of the time. And by doing this, you just go to a new layer, uh, brush tool, choose a color, and then go to the color you've been using. Um, and then just click in certain parts and set that to color dodge. Um, it looks better with like a good background but you can also do it with white if you just go to white add a new layer and click in certain areas and set that to overlay 
that gives it another really nice glow, probably even better to be honest. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, you can add some more layer styles to it. You can also add some colour corrections, I'll just show you now if you go to... I'm just going to grab these colour corrections here. Let me try that again, sorry. There you go, it looks really nice. Basically I just had some brightness, contrast, curves, exposure and colour balance. Very simple stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much how to make really nice looking text in Photoshop for YouTube banners, thumbnails, all that type of stuff. And if you don't like the colour, just go to Hue and Saturation and change it. Like that blue looks very nice. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, let me know what videos you'd like to see on the channel in the future. And yeah, keep up the amazing support on <clears throat> on the channel. Sorry, uh, it's just been amazing, guys. Recently, I've uploaded the past three days, and your know, support like I've not uploaded in a while, and now I'm back. I'm just happy to be back, and I'm just gonna keep uploading, guys. So keep up the sick support. Follow me on Twitter at TimbizHD to know when I upload and also when I stream. And with that all being said, I hope you're having a sick day today, and I'll see you in the next video. Fire when the strong pits you. That's it, Brian.